I'm Lisa Hutt, CMO at Artesian, and I'm with Richard Mullender today. And welcome to Meeting of Minds number two. Uh, Richard, I'm really excited to have you with us, and you'll be joining us at Connections in 2016. Um, I've got a couple of questions for you. Uh -huh. And um, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, my background is a uh, career CRD officer. I've worked at Scotland Yard for 30 years. Um, spent a lot of time uh, training, interviewing, etc., and then became a hostage negotiator. Um, and in the end, became the lead trainer for hostage negotiation, both nationally and internationally. Um, I've worked in places like Afghanistan and Middle East. And yeah, that really. Great. And you ask questions, not to hear the answer, but to understand more about the person and what their values are. Why is that? It's, um, it's not so much about asking questions to do that. I think what it is, is there's two types of questions in there. It's, two, it's about listen dif listening differently. If I ask an indirect question, so if I ask you to tell me about your best boss, you're going to tell me how you like to work. If I ask you for an opinion, it, as much as you'll give me your opinion on whatever I ask you, but actually what I'm listening for are your values and your beliefs. In order to persuade you, I need to understand you. I don't need to understand your opinion. Okay. And, it's, um, and once I understand you, then I know how to persuade you. Fabulous, excellent. And in a sales situation, you say it's not about uncovering pain and there's lots of books out there with selling skills, etc. For you, it's all about trust. Tell us a little bit more yeah, about that. I think um, trust is everything. I think, I think we, we, we uh, ignore trust at our peril or we don't think of trust at our peril. Um, you need to trust me. Uh, the moment you trust me, you give me permission to influence you. Um, it's a bit like a friend. If you've got a friend who you trust and they do something that's a bit ridiculous or they ask you to do something, most if, if someone else asks you, you say no, but with your friend you say yes. And it's that level of trust. I listen for trust. I, I'm going to build trust. I don't build rapport. I build trust. Excellent. And finally, um, the likes of me have been around the industry a while now and we, we've sort of learnt a lot over the years about body language and communication and stuff like that. What's the difference between great listening and elite listening? Elite listening is, is listening for the information that you can turn into intelligence. So, so my definition of, of elite listening is the identification, selection and interpretation of keywords that turn information into intelligence. I think the difference is, is that so often people walk into a meeting and there's loads of stuff thrown at them and they're not sure about what they're picking up. Uh, it's very easy to pick up the facts. If I want to persuade you, I need to know what motivates you. I need to know what drives you. I need to know what your idiosyncrasies are. I need to know what your interests are. I need to know much more than just the facts. Fabulous. That's really interesting. Well, we look forward to seeing you again on 1st of December, and thank you very much. Cheers.